Okay, it's uh, Fide Master John Curtis here. I've just been on chess.com and I played a very interesting game with uh, SJ95 from India. And he threw, he literally threw the kitchen sink at me. He threw the kitchen sink, he threw the knives, the forks and the plates and everything was crashing about me. He threw pots and pans at me and goodness knows what else. I don't think there were even spoons left in the cupboard. And uh, the game ended a draw. So I'm going to analyse this game with you and uh, hopefully uh, you'll enjoy it as much as what I did. My last teddy here. This is Christmas teddy. Hello teddy, say hello to the viewers. There we go. Hello viewers. And uh, Christmas teddy and I, we're going to um, have a little look at this game. Right, so Teddy, what do you think? What do you reckon, Ted? What do you think? Uh, Teddy, Teddy, Teddy's got ideas. He's got his own ideas. Um, well, firstly, uh, we play E4. Uh, we are white in this position. And um, our opponent, our opponent, uh, uh, it's his move. Now he's played c6, and the engine gives him a little, a little, little, little book move. Um, uh, cheers for that! And we just grab the center with d4. So we've got two pawns in the center and the usual um, setup. What do you reckon, Ted? Teddy says that's good. Okay, and now um, we play e4. Uh, d4 and uh, that's a theory move and we just develop our pieces pawn takes knight takes bishop to f5 and knight to g3 and we can see it's all theory the usual theory for this type of position and uh, I think Teddy better have a rest his legs are getting tired he thinks I'm trying to get too familiar with him Okay, right, so we'll just get back to this position, and um, I hope you can all see all this. Um, yes, so um, we're, we're traveling along well here, and um, let's see now, what does our opponent do next? Um, right, um, a, he plays the normal h6, because h5 is threatened. Okay. Knight f3. And then SJ95. Yes, he's uh, from India. Not my. He's from India. SJ95. And um, he was happy to have his game on YouTube. As long as he, I explained to him he wasn't being live streamed. So knight on the b5 to d7. But the game was only played minutes ago. And it's an interesting um, en ending. So that's why we show it to you. Because... He literally does throw everything at me. He loses all these pieces and still gets a draw and does very, very well out of it. So we just take back. We exchange the bishops and we've got the usual book position. So it's all theory. You can see the little books on the on the board. And hold on, he gets an exclamation mark, question mark for B5. So he gets a bit of expansion on that side of the board, but at the same time that has weaknesses. And we'll exploit those weaknesses, as we'll show you. So I just castle, get thumbs up. I did say a4 was a better move. But I'm happy to get, have this position. Oh, he played a5 and gets a star. Very best move. Amazing. Congratulations, SJ95 from India at 2033 rating. You're doing well. Oh, I got a star too. Isn't it nice to get little stars? And another star. He plays knight on the G file to F6 and he gets another star. So he's playing well. I get a thumbs up, but I didn't play the best move. He Oh, he played bishop E7, but he should have played bishop to B4, according to the engine. Okay, I played queen E2. I got a little tick, but uh, obviously knight E4 was the best. Um, let's see now. What's next? Queen b6, a question mark for that. He should have castled. So I play knight f5. As you can see now, if he takes the knight, then queen can take the bishop with checkmate. 
So, um, yeah, SJ95 is thinking, oh, what's going on here? So now I thought, well, I've got this position. I've got to continue. How do I continue from here? So I play bishop to f4. I've got a question mark. Uh, sorry, a tick for that move. But g4 was the best move, uh, as the arrow points out. Now, oh, he plays a4 and gets best move. He gets the star, the big star. So no wonder he played well. I got a star for my move. I gave him a check. And I recaptured with the bishop. So obviously I've stopped from castling, but I still can't seem to get to him. He gets a tick. He should have played a3. But he gets a tick for b4. So I played knight e5, question mark. It says I should be playing knight to d2. Right, probably to go play knight to c4 as my next move. Anyway, my, what here I'm threatening here is knight takes f7. And queen takes pawn check. But he's too smart for that. And he takes the knight and gets a star. So he's playing really well. I take with the bishop. I get a question mark. I should have taken with the queen, the engine says. Okay, then he plays b3. And he gets a question mark for that. And uh, he says he should have played a3. So I took it. I got a star for that. I played a3. I got another star. Why, why am I not winning? How is it I only got a draw? Well, let's see. Uh, queen to b5. Now, if I want to win, it's a simple matter of queen takes queen, bishop takes knight, uh, g pawn takes f6 back, and rook d3 and the b pawn here falls. So that's what I should have played. Yes, I should have played queen takes queen. Mr. Engine, you know what I should have done. He gets a check and an exclamation mark. So I play queen e4. I still didn't play the best move. I should have played queen d3 so that I can eliminate that pawn on b3. So let's see what he does. He plays queen. He gets a double question mark and just leaves me to play queen takes pawn check, which I do. And I get the big stars. And the stars are changing hands in this game. And here he goes. King e7. So I get a check. He comes up and gets a star for coming forwards. I think it's the best move in a bad position. And so now I should re I can play queen takes b3 and just win easily because his king is so exposed. But I played pawn to d5, double question mark. And that is why I'm tearing my hair out. That is why in this position he gets a draw. A brilliant, brilliant draw. And this is what he does. He plays queen Star, f5, check. I can't play king to c1 because he mates me on c2. So I must play king in the corner. I get a star because it's forced. And there's no other move. He plays rook, takes pawn, check. Right? And he gets a question mark, a double question mark. So I take it off. And what does he do now? He plays queen f6, check. Well, I've only got one move in this position. King to b1, he plays queen checks again. Now, if I go forwards uh, to b2, he plays queen to c2 check and mates me on the a7, a2 square. So I've only got one move. I've got to play king h, king a1. And he repeats the position. And I repeat the position. And we have a draw. What a fantastic game. You must give it to SJ95 from India. What a player. What a game. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you following me. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed this game. Um, I'm going to sign off now.